Hey everyone, welcome back to Back in Diapers. Um, this is kind of a, a little bit of a bonus video. Just wanted to do a little bit of catching up with you guys um, because it's seriously been a whirlwind of a month. Uh, we moved to a new apartment on the 23rd of April and that was, whew, that was a lot. Excuse me, I'm really yawning at the moment. Um, it was really hard on my body physically and mentally it was just like a lot of stress so um that took a lot out of me <clears throat> and because we were moving I did close down my shop for a couple of weeks and um was not taking in orders now I currently am taking orders but I am still backed up a little bit because I just have to finish setting up my sewing area and getting to the sewing and health and stuff has been kind of interfering with that a little bit um, so because I was stressed and the move happened, my seizures have been picking up a little bit, not horribly, but it's almost like I'm in a constant state of pre-seizure feeling and that's kind of shaky and disoriented a little bit and nervous and anxious and it's just like that. Um, but a couple days after, well, a few days after we moved in, uh, about the 2nd of May. Uh, I heard from my cousin that my uncle, whom I am very, very close with, passed away. And um, that whole side of the family lives in New York at the time, uh, currently. And I haven't seen my uncle since I moved here because I have not been back to New York. But he passed away on the 1st of May. And that kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. Um because I spent so much time with this uncle playing video games with him, watching him play video games, and he taught me how to play Mahjong, and I'd spend hours with him. And he always just had, like, a special place in my heart. And to have him gone and not having been able to say goodbye to him has been really, really hard on me. I really, really miss him and just, just wish that I could have had a final goodbye and today which is Thursday the day I'm recording this is actually his memorial service slash funeral and it's kind of kicking me in the gut because I'm not there to be with my family right now um and it's just been really really hard for me to even focus because every s every few I'm just constantly thinking about him missing him and you know just wishing he was still here with us. So that's been really, really affecting me. And, um, you know, it's, it's really hindered me from sewing, from all this stuff. It's just like I'm just trying not to curl up in a ball constantly and be depressed is really hard. But, you know, I know he's in a better place. He's no longer suffering from the pain with his diabetes and his heart issues and I know he's in a better place and no longer suffering and so really the one thing that can comfort me is you know that he's not feeling these things anymore and um, yeah but other than that you know getting settled in a new place we had to have a lot of repairs done um when we moved in the AC wasn't working so it was 90 degrees in our house all the time and it was miserable so I couldn't even be up in my sewing area because um, that's the hottest room in the house. So it was like not possible to sew because with all those fabrics on me and everything, it just gets so hot. And I just was like, nope, I can't do this right now. So I'm hoping within the next week or so, I will be getting my orders out and done. Um... And maybe I can do something for these people who had to wait forever for their orders. Um, but it's just been really, really hard for me to focus on life right now. And, um, yeah, the other thing that's going on is I am currently in the process of applying for disability. I've put in the applications and all the paperwork. Uh, now I have to go get an x-ray of my back on Monday, even though that probably won't show anything. Um, because I've been told what I would need is an MRI, but 
that's that. And then I have an appointment with the doctors that deal with disability out in Kansas City. And um, so I'll be seeing them for on the 1st. And these will help kind of make their determination just because they don't have quite enough information. So this kind of makes me nervous because it's not just cut and dry like it was last time. It And I'm kind of worried that, you know, I am going to get denied and have to appeal it, which is going to be really stressful for me. And I just want life to just work for once, just work in my favor because I just can never catch a break. But I'm hoping um, that the universe will just fall into place for me and that things will go well and that I will be able to get on the disability because working is just not possible. It's hard enough to work from home. And so, so having the ability to have the income would be fantastic and would lighten my stress load a lot. Um, and I'm trying to think of what else. Oh yeah. Um, I opened up a GoFundMe. I will be sharing the link in the description box below. Um, normally I wouldn't do this because I would just raise the money on my own through the business and whatnot, but we've had a little bit of something come up with this guy right here. <laughs> um, we finally took him to the vet uh, for the first time in almost his life. He went when he was a kitten and he's never gone since then. Um, but we went to the vet to get his shots updated and everything. And it turns out that he needs about $900 worth of dental work. Um, they need to do a deep cleaning and they also need to extract at least two teeth. So, um, yeah, that put a dent in, in us financially. We haven't done it yet. We're hoping to start the process next month. Um, so we can get this little guy taken care of. Um, because he just really needs it. And we just had a family dog pass away because of, uh, rotting teeth and things like that. So we're going to get this guy taken care of before that gets, before that happens. So, um, I did start the GoFundMe because I do need to raise money for new equipment for both my YouTube and my sewing business. I need a new sewing machine. I need, um, a new desk. I need a couple of different things. A new, a new sewing chair. So I'm hoping that, it, you know, I'll be able to raise a little bit of money for that um, over time. It's not really got a time limit or anything like that. I'm hoping to raise about half of what I need. And that's anywhere between, a, you know, a couple thousand dollars and three thousand um, dollars is about what I'm thinking, given the desk and the chair and the sewing machine. Because my, my sewing machine is pretty much starting to really not want to work properly um so I have to be very picky with it and uh baby it a lot so um I really don't want it to fail and be have to stop my business before I get a new one so I'm working with the help of friends family and you guys to raise the money so that I can continue on with my business and um really get this thing off the ground so that I can do what I love to do and make wonderful products for people um, that are custom and gorgeous and will last forever. <laughs> Not forever, but for a really long time. And um, him taking about half my budget is not going to help out. <laughs> so if you seriously, guys, don't feel like you have to donate. And um, but if you if you want to, it's there for you. Um, I'm not expecting to raise much, but I'm just saying if you want to help out and, um, everything, that would be amazing. Every, you know, every penny counts and I appreciate whatever I get, whether that's nothing or whether you guys completely fully fund it. Um, but it would just be really, really great if I can upgrade my work and, upgrade my equipment to the point of where I'm pumping out amazing, beautiful stuff. Because if I get the right sewing machines, I can monogram, I can 
embroider things and do special stitches and all this stuff that will just give that give my items a pop and um that's my desire to really produce the best clothing i can for you guys and um yeah this guy is purring right now <laughs> he's just sitting here adoring me and purring Seriously, this little guy has been my comfort and my constant companion, including when I sew. So if you guys ever get stuff from me and you have a cat hair, it's his. He likes to uh, sit with me while I sew, and I try to keep him off everything as much as possible. But uh, every now and then he sneaks in and sits on things, and I forget to get it out. But anyway, guys, I just want to thank you all so much for your support and your well wishes. Um, I'm... I've just been so close to breaking point that every day is a struggle and um, you know I wake up every day and I'm just like so exhausted I'm so drained emotionally and mentally I'm just needing life to take a break and I'm needing life to just cut me some slack uh, which it doesn't like to do <laughs> but um you know, you guys, you know, I read every single comment of your guys' as whether or not I respond to it, I read it. And I really, really appreciate your love and support. And those of you who just constantly, you know, there's so many that comment on every video. And uh, the support just means so much to me. And I really, really do appreciate it. Um, but I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go snuggle with my kitty and get some water. And uh, lay here until it's time to make some dinner. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to do a live stream here before too long. Whether I work on art or craft or sewing stuff, we'll see. Um, but that's the hope. And uh, so, yeah. But you guys, thank you again so much for all your support and love through these hard times. Because it really does mean a lot. And... I've had a lot of support from friends and family, um, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you're wondering what happened to my hair, yes, I chopped it off yesterday. I was growing, gonna grow it out, and I just could not stand it. I, just, I love my hair short. I love the fun things I can do with it. It's currently totally spiked up in a little mohawk, but yeah. And you guys can help me vote. I'm going to be dyeing my hair, and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with it. And I have a couple of different options, and I will make a poll. Um, it posts on my, staring at the screen, it posts on the side, so it's probably that side. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and vote and help me decide what to do with my hair color. Um, that'll just be a little fun thing. But anyway, guys, I am done rambling because this video is almost 15 minutes long. So I'm going to go rest for a little bit and gain some energy to make some dinner. So I will see you guys next or I will see you guys on Friday. And um, hopefully we'll have a really cool video next Friday. Today is Thursday, so not this coming Friday for me, but next Friday. So next upload that you guys will see will be... Um, on Friday. I'm rambling. I really am. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.